Tomorrow, Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell will sign into law a new, stricter plastic bag ban. The current ban stopped grocery stores and retailers from using single use plastic bags. But then some started using the thicker, reusable plastic bags. Well, the new law will stop those too. Sarah Madison has the timeline and has more on how this measure impacts you. Starting July 1st next year, non exempt businesses are required to charge customers a minimum of 15 cents per bag for groceries or other merchandise. That bag needs to be reusable, compostable, or a paper bag that contains 40% post consumer content. But after January 1st, 2020, even those thicker plastic bags will no longer be considered reusable. Our main issue is really to address the issue of plastics. And while merchants and businesses made thicker bags, uh, what was happening is that some people were reusing it, yet these were thicker bags now going into our environment. Even compostable plastic bags will also be banned by 2020. While they're supposed to be compostable, volunteers of 808 cleanups often see them floating along our shorelines. No, it doesn't break down all the way, so it's a misconception when it says it's a compostable plastic bag. It's kind of an oxymoron. There's no such thing. Um, just this last week, I saw a bird eating a plastic bag that was floating through the park, so we definitely need to have an all-out ban. Now, there are exceptions. For instance, restaurants are still able to hand out plastic bags for prepared foods, beverages, and takeouts. If you are bagging any loose type of produce like lettuce, or tomatoes or onions at a grocery store, those uh, bags will still be acceptable. Uh, you could still use those small, thin bags. While businesses can still provide paper bags, President of Island Plastic Bags explains in a statement that this is especially troubling as the cost of 40% post-consumer paper bags is so expensive. The cost of 40% post-consumer paper bags will only increase as more jurisdictions ban plastic bags, increasing the demand for post-consumer paper. We live on an island and it's to ensure that we reduce the amount of plastics that we do use and to be more sustainable. Sarah Madison, KHON 2 News. And for more details on the ban, visit our website, khon2.com.